Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Movie Review Time. I am Rob. Today is going to be a brand new video. Been doing a lot of re-uploads on my channel, you know, my horror collection videos and so on, just to keep the content going. Uh, I've been very busy with stuff lately and I haven't had time to uh, make brand new videos. But uh, today's video has been on my mind for a while. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time and um, it's going to be full of nostalgia, this video, because I'm an 80s kid and I thought about going through my collection and picking out all of the cartoons and animated series that I own from the 80s, 90s, and beyond. And I also thought about doing a video after this talking about my favorite animated shows and cartoons from the 80s and 90s. But that'll be a separate one. Today I'm just going to show you my collection. And uh, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do. So, let's get started. The first one here is a very rare show. A very awesome show. Because uh, I was a fan of Nintendo. And, uh, yeah, this one had great music and great characters. And that is... Captain N, the Game Master. How many of you guys remember this? Captain N, the Game Master. Mega High! You know, you had Mega Man here, you had Simon Belmont, Kid Icarus, Game Boy. Just awesome characters, um, you know, from the Nintendo world. Just really, really cool stuff. Um, this... I'm not even sure how rare it is now, but when this first came out, this set, it was so hard to get. I remember I had to drive like over an hour away because the place that I went to had two copies left. Well, when I got there, they had one copy left and I got the last one. Um, and when they were all sold out, they didn't get any more in. It was like a one-time thing, and I'm like I said, I'm not even sure how rare this goes, you know, this is now or what this goes for <clears throat> online, because this is the complete series of Captain N. But uh, yeah, there are the characters right there. You can see Simon Belmont, uh, Mega Man there, Kid Icarus, man. Yeah, this this show is. Unbelievable. You got, uh, you know, Mother Brain, who is the main villain from, you know, Metroid. You also have, like, Eggplant Wizard, um, you know, from Kid Icarus. And then you have uh, King Hippo from Punch-Out. So, really, really cool. There's 26 episodes, uh, as well as some bonus features. And I forgot to mention, it is a Shout Factory release. <clears throat> really, really cool um, set. If you can get your hands on this, I would definitely go for it. Um, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to get. So, that's definitely a nostalgic overload right there. Here we have Captain N and the new Super Mario World, which is basically shorts. You have a short of Captain N and a short of Mario, uh, which span, I think, like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. It says right here, in 1991, NBC amped up their Saturday mornings by combining two of their animated powerhouses into one half hour time slot. So it is a half hour. <clears throat> now, this set was also hard to get. I remember, I think I got this at Best Buy, I think. And uh, they didn't get any more copies in. Uh, but it's also done by Shout Factory there. But yeah, um, just more episodes and, uh, you know, just some pretty cool stuff. Here we have... Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego, the complete series? Now, I believe I got this at Walmart really cheap. 
and uh, I think this was like 90s. I think this was like 93 to 96 or something like that. 40 episodes. I remember this. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? <clears throat> now here's one from the 80s. Cops. It's crime fighting time. I'm definitely going to do <clears throat> individual reviews for these shows and show you guys the intros and stuff like that. Because th these sh types of cartoons had fantastic intros. Better than any kind of intros done today with these cartoons that come out today. They're just not as memorable. This is the complete series of cops uh, finding crime in a future time. They also had some cool toys. I know my cousin Dan had a lot of the cops figures. Um, it features all 65 episodes. So, cops. Now, here we have <clears throat> Tiny Toons, but this is not <clears throat> the Tiny Toons series. Even though that's the one I did watch. The Tiny Toon Adventures. This is actually the animated film. Steven Spielberg presents Tiny Toon Adventures, How I Spent My Vacation, the original movie. Um, this was a very, very funny and uh, well done film based on the Tiny Toon Adventure characters. But Tiny Toon Adventures is also one that, uh, you know, I used to watch. So I thought I'd throw that in here. Of course, I used to watch Popeye, the Sailor Man. When it comes to Popeye, um, you know, funny story. I used to watch this all the time, and I was always begging my mother. I was begging my mother to always get me spinach. Because whenever I saw him, you know, opening the can of spinach and eating it, I'm like, I want to do that. You know, maybe if I do that, I'll get strong like him. If someone's bullying me, then I'll just eat the spinach and beat the hell out of him. Yeah, that's not what happened. She she bought some spinach and she cooked it. And you know how spinach looks when it's cooked, especially in a can? It looks nasty. It honestly looks nasty. Um, it looked like moss from a lake. You know, like when green moss, uh, you know, um, ends up on the, on the rim of the lake there. And you, you know, you pick it up with a stick and it's just gross and hanging over the stick. That's, that's exactly what it looked like. I'm like, this is not what Popeye eats, even though it was, it was just cooked. But Popeye the Sailor Man is definitely, uh, was definitely one of my favorite cartoons to watch. Now here's one that ran, I believe, from 94 to 96, and it is Street Sharks. I'm not sure if any of you remember this one. The complete series, 40 episodes. I remember the toys to these. They were like sharks that felt like all rubbery, and you can like open their mouths. And each of the sharks are different. I don't remember their names exactly, but I think I had him. I had him as a figure, but they had, like, all the figures were bigger than each other. Like, they were all different. They reminded me of, like, okay, they reminded me of, like, the Ninja Turtles, but they're sharks. Um, but, yeah, like, Street Sharks, that's definitely another one. Um, this has a bonus episode of Cops, the case of the boy who cried sea monster by Mill Creek. Yeah, Street Sharks. Yeah, this is just bringing a bunch of nostalgia back. Here's one that I definitely remember from, uh, I believe, the later 80s. And it is The Legend of Zelda. This is the collector's edition, over three hours of action, the complete season, or the complete series. Well, excuse me, princess. Not many episodes to this uh, to this series. Um, it wasn't a long series at all, but it was cool because it was Zelda, and I was a fan. You know, like I, you know, I was a fan of all the Nintendo stuff: Super Mario Brothers, Super Show, 
Um, you know, like I said, Captain N, Zelda, you know, all that stuff was a lot of fun. Here's one that I still think holds up today. I love this show. Heathcliff. Uh, this show has a fantastic intro. Um, there's 86 episodes in the complete series. And this is a pretty cool set. Um, I think it's by Milk Reek. Yep. Um, awesome. Heathcliff was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, my favorite cartoons to watch. And I believe it was... I don't remember if it was 1985. I think it was around... It was definitely in the middle 80s. It was definitely middle to later 80s. But definitely one I remember. Now here's one... This, this show is fantastic. And this was... Definitely one of my favorites back then. I'm not sure if you guys remember this one. Um, and I believe it was 85 as well. David the Gnome. Now this show was fantastic. Uh, it's the complete series. Four discs, 26 episodes. Now, um, I got this, I believe, on Amazon. Um, and this was the only like official release, I think. Um, but, uh, man, you, you know, you have Swift, the Fox, and, you know, uh, David's, David the Gnome's wife, Lisa, uh, you know, cause he's a gnome doctor and like he helps people or not people, but other gnomes and other creatures around the, uh, forest and he fights trolls and Tom Bosley who did, uh, he did the voice of, uh, David the Gnome, but Tom Bosley, you know, he was in happy days. Um, you know, narrated by Christopher Plummer. But there's so many memorable episodes. This is this has a fantastic uh, opening as well. Man, see, these cartoons back then just had great intros. I love the intros. So, how many of you guys remember this one? I guarantee you, you know, a lot of you will, won't even remember this. But, in a way, I think it's one of those rare shows. Here we have Super Friends. <laughs> Challenge of the Super Friends, actually. This is the first season uh, with the DC superheroes. You have Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. You also have Robin in there. Um, you have Green Lantern, and even Aquaman. Um, awesome. Um, two disc set. 16 season uh, of six, uh, two disc set of 16, uh, season one, where they fight off against the Legion of Doom. Heck yeah, super friends. That's what it's all about. Now, here we have Transformers <laughs> Generation One, right here. Now, this is the first edition DVD box set. With that they ever came out, uh, it was Rhinomation. Um, I love this DVD box set. I still have it. And I, I remember when it first came out. Um, of course, they remastered. Uh, you know, it, it's not the greatest quality because uh, they have remastered this since then. Um, but there's, um, you know, the special features there. Um, it's got the Japanese show opening, animation outtakes. But it's got all the episodes listed there. Uh, so this is uh, season one there. And that's a standalone season. Then you got Transformers season two, part one. Then you got season two, part two. You have season three, part two, and season four. Which, that's that's really weird. Um... I, yeah, that's it's strange how it go how it does that. Season three, part two, and season four. It's just that's odd. I forgot this one. Season three, part one. Okay, there's season three, part one. Then it goes season three, part two, and season four. So they combine season three and four in that one. And here you have season three, part one. Okay, so there's all the Transformer. I have every single Transformer episode. 
and these box sets and they are my pride and joy here we have the X-Men 90s cartoon. Love this cartoon. This is like one of my favorites next to the Batman animated series cartoon. All these characters. I love the figures when I grew up, you know, um, with, with these toys. <clears throat> Some of the greatest toys. Um, but yeah, so many memorable episodes. Nine of the Sentinels, part one and two. The Unstoppable Juggernaut. Days of Future Past, part one and two awesome stuff then you have volume two with phoenix there and you have volume three which has the dark phoenix saga then you have volume four with Sabretooth and wolverine and volume five which is the last one and it has captain america there there's mojo right there red skull up there awesome i love the x-men also another show that has a fantastic intro -na 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 -na. -na 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 anyway that's yeah that's what i'm talking about man these shows back then great stuff man great intros here we have probably one of my favorites of all time and that is batman the animated series voiced by kevin conroy my favorite batman um amazing amazing stuff i love it so many great characters and villains so many great ones this is volume one of batman the animated series here is volume two here is volume three and the final one volume four in which you can see they changed the artwork um the animation um, everything you know from the way he looks like the bat uh, signal on his chest is different um, so Batman the animated series awesome uh, the last few I'm going to show you here uh, we have Justice League the animated series there so I also had I also used to have the Superman animated series uh, but I don't have that anymore. This has 26 episodes on four discs for season one. Justice League is definitely another one that I used to like um, because it reminded me of Batman the Animated Series with all the Justice League characters. Then you have Justice League Unlimited season one, which again, um, you know, some of the characters look different, but. Uh, not all of them have changed. And then here is season two. And season two of Unlimited is very thin. Look how thin that is. It's just like a very thin case versus uh, season one. <laughs> Weird. But uh, that's that's uh, season two. So anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Those are the cartoons that I still own to this day. Now, I, I just want to make this clear. I used to have more. Um, I used to have He-Man, Master of the Universe. I used to have Super Mario Brothers, Shoop, um, the Super Show. Um, I used to have a lot more than what I have now. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I'm in the midst of trying to get them back and trying to collect them again. But like I said, the next video I make um, is going to be my favorites and I'm going to list them um, you know I hopefully I'll try to list them by year uh, like year but um, if I don't do that I'm just going to list them you know as just some of my favorites uh, which will be a really cool video which will also bring a ton of nostalgia back uh, <laughs> for maybe for some of you so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, let me know what you think of some of these shows do you remember some of these shows uh, listed down in the comments. I'll be really, I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about uh, some of these if you remember them. So, anyway, this is Rob. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.